Show me a chain coach, citizen. Welcome back, everybody. Today we are talking about clone troopers again, but we are going to open this guy here. The Clone Wars 50th Lucasfilm Anniversary. This is the first time to get a clone pilot in the 6-inch series, so I can't wait to open him up. This is a bubble, it's not a box. I'm going to have to... How are we going to open this today? Okay, that's our main challenge. <laughs> I like the clone pilots very much, and to be honest, I only own one, which is this guy over here with the turret. Now, this guy came out in the Saga series... And what you have to do is you have to buy the huge vehicle, the Clone Trooper gunship, the Republic gunship, which I do not have. It's on my bucket list. You get one on one of these either side. It's got the Phase 1 helmet. Pretty cool. There were probably only around about 9 or 10 Clone Trooper pilots in the 3.75, but they all look really, really good. I'm just, I, This is a serious gap in my collection i have to get more pilots this guy here is fantastic he's not a pilot but just one of my all-time favorite figures the arc trooper and this was the clone war series here um aesthetically i mean he looks cool doesn't he his armor he's got so much kit and that's why i think that echo is so popular wow okay we're not going to open echo today <laughs> I'm not brave enough to open Echo yet. Uh, this is the old, like, packaging from before. This is a Toys R Us exclusive, General Grievous. So basically Hasbro have taken that and then just enlarged it for the 6-inch scale, which I think is a really fantastic idea, and they should do that more often. Yes. Good. Actually, what I should do is I've had a request. da da Pilot. Okay, so in every video, I promise to show my viewers a really old Kenner vintage card back. So we're talking about clone pilots today. This is the Imperial TIE Fighter pilot from Return of the Jet, £1.30. <laughs> so cheap. Or was it? Inflation. Uh, hey, not bad, eh? On the back, 1980, let's see, 82 or 83? 19, it's made in Hong Kong, 1983. It's a 65 card back. And it's unpunched. I don't know if you can see the top there. Look, it's unpunched. Wow. Yes, pilots. Okay, right. I think it's time to get our cutting board and open the pilot. Obviously not going to fit in here. This is pretty nice. An ARC 170. Aggressive reconnaissance starfighter. Ooh, pretty cool. All right, let's get on with the show. Okay, here comes the hard part. How do we get this fella out of his packaging? Um, again, I have Tourette's Syndrome. I've got very, very shaky hands. It's not a good idea for me to use a knife. I know exactly what will happen. <laughs> I will slice my fingers to pieces and probably cut his arms and legs off. Another round of applause, please. That was amazing how you do this. You've got such a steady hand and calm nerves, not like me. Um, wow. I think I'm going to keep this, you know, because it just because it's the shape of the Clone Trooper helmet. That would look really great next to my display. Never throw your car backs away. Oh, and here's the animation. This is the uh, the crest of his squadron. Like it, like it. Clone Pilot Hawk. Remember that name. Hawk is he's quite a familiar character in the Clone Wars. He always comes to the rescue of Anakin Skywalker. He'll fly in and, and, and pick up stranded soldiers and take them to safety. 
Um, actually, there's lots of uh, clone troopers who have like cool names. You know, for example, in Top Gun, they have Ice. Remember that movie with Tom Cruise? Oddball, Tucker from Blue Squadron, Matchstick, Kickback. And finally, we got Hawk. Okay, he's got company, Commander Wolf and Hunter. I want to compare... On first, you know, first observations, I think it's pretty obvious that the body that is completely different. The, you, these these guys, this one has like a single joint here and the knee as well. Whereas this guy's got this one's got double double jointed elbows and double jointed legs, which is cool. Um, but yeah, he's got the uh, wolf is double jointed as well, so this is kind of similar, right? The paintwork's really nice. I like the the weathering on his on his shoulders. I can actually go. This actually slips under under here under the shoulder that's nice okay there some people were complaining that his uh face mask is slightly skew if and yes it is if you hold it up really closely you can you can tell that the way that they've stuck it on is slightly at an angle i don't know if you can make that out but i mean it's just a small thing isn't it these are nice and soft and flexible, so you can turn his head with no problem. Obviously, he cannot rotate his head 360 degrees up and down. And he's got the life support on his chest with some... Yeah, that's painted on, that's nice. I like that. And this part here, his, his utility belt, it doesn't come off, but it's nice and loose. So it'll be good if you're a customizer. Gives you some, some room to work with there, doesn't it? Diaphragm. And his feet. Let's have a look. Any rockers on the feet? Yes. We've got rockers on the feet. Tilt. It's not bad. I think it's good to have a pilot in the collection. Something new. Okay, let's turn Pilot Hawk over. One thing that I am noticing on the 6-inch figures, especially with the armoured characters you know stormtroopers clone troopers is that they don't really have much paint on the back it's quite ordinary and bland i would like to see hasbro add a little bit more color perhaps some some details some stickers paint here on on their backs maybe different color belts i don't know just something just to give it a bit more life you know from 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 behind so i'm going to put this guy into some poses now and we'll change the camera angle Voila, perfect. This is my little docking bay. It's in a, a cave somewhere in the Gian Ocean Mountains. The pilot's getting ready to go on a mission, loading up R2, Astromech, helping out, do the final maintenance checks. Some clone troopers having an argument in the background. Clone Wolf, uh, what's he saying? He's saying, you better hurry up and get that door open, otherwise you'll be peeling potatoes for the next one month, soldier. This is how I, I, I always like to just look around the house and find random stuff and then set it up um yeah i'm very amateur and it, it's just it's just so much more fun this is how i used to play when i was a kid proton torpedoes check deflector shields up check soldier get this mess cleaned up and get those doors open now okay uh okay just put this in here i'm gonna need that what do you want a shovel for okay just all right get off my wing oh you get these doors open right now, soldier, or you'll be peeling potatoes for a month. Oh, the door. Mm -mm. Uh, hey, I forgot the landing gear. Uh, clankers, clankers coming in. Ah, Wilhelm screen. Ah, and then. Da, 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 da. Extreme close up clone pilot hawk. Yeah, love the paint on this. It really stands out the blue on his shoulders and his helmet. Brilliant. Okay, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Oh, I'm gonna have to open Echo. That's impossible. I don't want to open Echo, but I must. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. More videos coming up soon. Go to Facebook and check us out Return of the Nerd Star Wars. And I'm also on Instagram too. And I shall see you next time. Do you know what's going on? Maybe it's another drill.
Hello there.